If you have been in social media recently, most celebrities are endorsed by big corporations for making advertisements and endorsing their products. Just like for most YouTubers, second to go place to earn more money is to launch a merch line. For celebrities, it's opening some alcoholic beverage or bottled water company. For example, Ellen DeGeneres promotes bottled water companies for decades. Jennifer Aniston and Tom Brady have been promoting the so-called Smart Water, Mark Wahlberg has Aqua Hydrate Bottled Water Company, Ryan Reynolds, George Clooney, The Rock have Tequila and Bottled Water Companies. I could go on and on. Virtually every single one of them either has alcoholic beverage or bottled water company or both. Obviously, because it's extremely profitable for celebrities with massive platforms to sell literally anything, even simple drinking water. Most recently, I saw Will Smith and his son Jaden Smith's bottled water company called Just Water. The legends say at 10 years old, Jaden Smith noticed a lot of garbage and plastic in the ocean while surfing and was so upset by it and crying that he insisted his family do something about it. That led to Just Water Company. The packages are made almost from renewable resources like carton and degrading plastic from sugarcane, which makes it an eco-friendly and for completely environmental purposes because 10-year-old Jaden insisted on it, which I think is a complete BS and very disingenuous. These actors and celebrities with their impeccable acting skills can sell ice to Eskimo. And this is bringing a huge environmental catastrophe because as a matter of fact, we don't even need branded bottled water. Let's break it down. Many people assume that higher price tags and words like purified, vitamin rich, added crystals and all other voodoo is justified by the health benefits of bottled water. But that's not actually true. Tap water is not only safe, but safer and better than bottled water. The United States of America is the top consumer of bottled water, although in the US, 99.2% of the country has access to clean tap water, many Americans choose to drink bottled water instead due to concerns about poor taste and contamination. Bottled and clean tap water is virtually identical in terms of purity and taste. They won numerous blind tests in different parts of the country, only one third of blind taste testers could correctly identify the difference between tap water and bottled water. Other than that, it's just a placebo effect. In 1974, the US government has passed the Safe Drinking Water Act. Since then, drinking water in the US is some of the safest in the world according to the CDC. In fact, tap water in the US is tested more often and thoroughly than bottled water because it's federally regulated and often screened for dangerous pollutants. Generally in Europe, North America and in most wealthy developed countries, it's completely safe to drink tap water. For example, South Korea has the most strict and strangest water treatment regulation in the world. Their water goes through 163 water quality tests. It's even safer than bottled water. Yet most people have a stigma that tap water is going to make them sick. Let's go a bit back to the promotion of bottled water. The reason why celebrities are obsessed with simple drinking water is that it's very profitable and grown to be 150 billion dollar business globally. The average cost of gallons worth of single serve bottled water in the US is around $10. That's nearly three times more expensive than the average price for a gallon of milk and almost four times the average price for a gallon of regular gasoline. Bottled water, depending on the brand, costs nearly 3,000 times more than a tap water, which costs less than a cent per gallon. An annual supply of bottled water for a person who consumes 8 glasses a day would cost approximately $400 to $800. The same amount of tap water would cost approximately 0.33 cents. Big bottled companies like Nestle, Coca-Cola, PepsiCo and all others buy creek beds and springs, pump the water, bottle it in plastic and sell it 2,900 times the price of the regular tap. It's a very lucrative business. Nestle is particularly notorious for operating in economically depressed areas with lax water laws. For example, in Michigan, they make up to 1,200 bottles per minute, 3.5 million a day. Nestle pays for the water it bottles, sometimes a municipal rate and other times just a nominal extraction fee. In Michigan, 
The fee is just $200 and they make billions of dollars just wrapping the free tap water with plastic. Spring by spring, they drain small, water-rich but economically poor municipalities, offering them jobs and infrastructure, but lured by these offers, officials would just give them water for free. It's not only in the US, it's also everywhere in Canada, Latin America, Europe and so on. Additionally, the environmental impact of plastics from bottled water is huge. Transporting the bottled water and keeping them cold also burns fossil fuels, which gives off greenhouse gases. Like other sources of plastic, the material in bottled water is produced from the byproduct of crude oil. In 2007, all the bottled water produced in the US consumed 54 million barrels of oil. Now 2020, the consumption is almost tripled and it takes more than 100 million barrels of oil just in the US. Not only that, according to some estimates, it also takes from 1.4 up to 3 liters of water to produce just 1 liter of bottled water. Bottled water industry wastes a huge amount of water, fills the ocean with plastic, and increases greenhouse gas levels just for making more money. So here comes Will Smith with his Just Water company with carton bottle drinking water. If you go to the official Amazon store of this company, they even have the audacity encouraging people and virtue signaling not to drink tap water, even though the purity of tap water is regulated and cleaned by EPA and CDC. This company actually confesses that they pump water, which actually draws heavily on underground aquifers and harms watersheds. Let's calculate how much does it cost. 12 liters of this water costs $31. So a person should drink 8 glasses of water per day. So 8 glasses is going to be 2 liters. So 730 liters per year in the end. So you have to pay $1,885 in a year for this water company of Will Smith. When that same water cost 0.33 cents. So as you can assume, being opportunistic and in the name of preserving the environment, everybody wants that some chunk of that $150 billion pie. So this company is now worth more than 100 million, so you can see it's working while wasting water and increasing carbon footprint. Otherwise, if they are honest, they would just encourage people to put filters on the tap just to be sure and confident and drink from it. All these celebrities and companies like Nestle, Coca-Cola, PepsiCo are in the water business for the sole purpose of making more money while trashing and burning the earth and getting rich on the way. Interestingly, in September 2009, the Australian city of Bundanun became the first city in the world to completely ban bottled water from its stores, installing water fountains around the city instead. And in 2012, the town of Concord in Massachusetts became the first city in the US to ban the sale of unflavored, non-sparkling bottled water. If residents are not sure that tap water is safe and find the taste of tap water a bit different, they are encouraged to buy very affordable tap filters, which completely eliminates the problems with pipes and tap. So in the end, drinking tap water instead of bottled is good financially, environmentally, and it's more healthy. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. It was kind of a bit different video than usual, a bit randy. What do you think about bottled water versus tap water? Let me know in the comment section below. Please subscribe and hit the notification button not to miss upcoming episodes.